Hi students, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. In today's session, let me talk about juncture, assimilation and elision. Juncture or transition refers to the phenomenon of pauses in speech. The pause that we make between two words to make out the meaning. Juncture does not refer to transition from one sound to the next within a word but to transition from one word to the next. Now consider the phonemic sequence. This may mean either P stalks or P stalks depending on where the juncture or pause is. These are other examples of this type which differ in meaning because of difference in juncture. A name and an aim Ice cream and I scream, play track and plate rack, a dress and address. So that's about juncture or transition. Next we have assimilation. The concrete phonetic realizations of phonemes are different in different words depending upon the phonetic environments in which they occur. For example, Consider the words love and silk. The phoneme lil in love is a palatalized or clearal since it is followed by a vowel. On the other hand, the phoneme l in silk is a valorized or dark l since it is followed by a consonant. Thus, we can say that the precise Phonetic quality of a phoneme is determined by its phonetic context, that is, by the sounds that precede and or follow it. The way in which sounds thus influence each other is called assimilation. It is a process by which a certain sound is replaced by another under the influence of a third one which is adjacent to it. That is, sound A may be replaced by sound B under the influence of the adjacent sound C. For example, consider the word newsprint. Here, the Z sound in news is replaced by Z sound by the influence of P. The assimilatory changes that take place may be phonemic or allophonic. In other words, the replacing sound and the sound it replaces may be allophones of the same phoneme or the two sounds may belong to two different phonemes. Example for allophonic change. The phoneme k in key is prevalar under the influence of the following front vowel e and the k in call is postvelar under the influence of the following back vowel O. Example for phonemic change. Sad tail. Here the phoneme D in sad is replaced by T under the influence of the following T. Assimilatory changes may be regressive or progressive. If the features of a phoneme affect the phoneme preceding it, it is called regressive assimilation. For example, the phoneme k in the word key is prevalar under the influence of the following friend vowel. If the features of a phoneme affect the phoneme following it, it is called progressive assimilation. For example, the phoneme l in clean is realized as a voiceless alveolar lateral under the influence of the preceding voiceless aspirated plosive k. So that's about assimilation. Next we move on to elision. When the unaccented syllables are pronounced rapidly in connected speech in order to maintain the characteristic rhythm of English, certain sounds are elided. This is called elision. For example, to in left is elided in left turn. Similarly, to in last is elided in last time. So, 
That's about elision. These are the questions for you. Please do answer these questions. Thank you so much for paying attention.